will tell you how to apply this balloon on an endoscope and then deploy the balloon inside this lady who requires weight reduction for morbid obesity and diabetes. That entire thing comes in one kit, no? The yes. facilitator and everything. Yeah. So this is a kit which comes as fast balloon. I need you to focus on the hands of my assistant. Yeah. He is now removing the covering of the sparks balloon. Once this covering gets open, we are going to use the uh, and inside it's the material that we have actually shown you. Please notice the facilitator is very important because that is how Saranj is going to introduce. So when that's the facilitator yeah. which is being threaded so onto this the. This is a facilitator. Mm -hmm. This actually is a covering which will allow me to fix this balloon with the scope. Once I fix this balloon to the scope, then I can insert the balloon alongside the scope. As you can see, this balloon is very fragile. It cannot go inside like an Orbera balloon. It needs to be stuck to the tip of the endoscope to go inside. <coughs> it's like a finger stall the surgeon uses, single finger. You know, you run it across. Now, now uh, Ramesh is now pulling this fixator over this balloon. Now he will fix this fixator to the endoscope by pulling two and two defects in the inserter along the endoscope and will fix this facilitator and the balloon to the tip of the endoscope. Uh, Saranj, just show that that uh, filling, uh, the tube is elastic and it stretches. Yes. Yes. That is very so important. This See. is important, the tube is elastic and it stretches. That's very important. And we will also show you the stretchiness when we complete the procedure to apply the provider cap. See that you can stretch it. Now we attach this three-way extension to this tubing like this and we attach this white over this three-way extension. So Saraj, what is the advantage of this balloon over the Orbera? This balloon has an advantage that it can be deflated and inflated over time. And uh, this can be used to modify the balloon volume if the patient is not tolerating the balloon or needs additional weight loss after the plateau of weight loss of first three months. So during insertion, it is important to notice that I have applied the balloon on the side which is away from the angle of my scope so that I can visualize the balloon when I retroflex the uh, scope inside the stomach. I have applied Correct. adequate uh, dilutin jelly on the tip of the scope. Can I answer your question, I said. What is the advantage? Both ways. Advantage is if there is low weight loss, you inflated it. If it's intolerable, you deflate also. And 86, in, again, Barham did the meta-analysis. 86% needed some sort of adjustment to get an optimal result. Again, that's a meta-analysis not from me, but from Barham who's there in the audience. I mean, who's there in the theater. So we have reached the inside of the stomach. Here we look at the D junction. I have already done a chest check endoscopy. There is no hiatus hernia. We go in till the antrum. What is the status? Once we have reached the antrum, we see that we have got the entire balloon inside the stomach. and we start inflating the balloon. Yeah, to retroflex and show that the white uh, white cord that we are seeing is seen inside the sun. When we are filling the balloon, we cannot see the balloon being filled because it is on the side of the scope, just behind the scope. We are going to fill up the balloon with 400 cc of saline with methylene blue in the saline because it, in case of accidental leakage of uh, fluid from the balloon, the methylene blue can actually indicate us as we have filled 200 cc 
थ्री हंड्रेड वन फिफ्टी सारांश एट वॉट पॉइंट ऑफ फिलिंग डज द फेसिलिटेटर ड्रॉप ऑफ बाई इट सेल्फ सर एक्चुअली द फेसिलिटेटर इज रिमूव फ्रॉम द बलून वंस वी हैव फिल्ड अप एडिकेट वॉल्यूम इफ इट डज नॉट वी जस्ट फिक्स द स्कोप लेफ्ट राइट एंड जस्ट पुल द स्कोप स्लाइडली सो दैट द फेसिलिटेटर रिमूव फ्रॉम द बलून Usually, uh, the recommended volume is from 400 to 550 cc, but uh, our patients uh, tolerate uh, uh, difficulty in 550 cc. I start with 400 cc, and uh, can upsize uh, the size uh, depending on the patient response. Uh, this is the advantage of sparks balloon that you need not get fixed in the initial volume. Once you have an adequate volume uh, response, you can in increase the volume after a plateau phase. Also, if the patient is intolerant to the volume, then you can re, uh, re uh, deflate the volume of the uh, balloon, and uh, this has led to more acceptability and less withdrawal rate in sparks balloon as compared to other balloons. So, if the stomach size is large, uh, yes. in some patients you increase the size up to 700, 800. The maximum size that has been told is 850 cc that can be increased to 850. So, Saran Chair, thank you. I think uh, you are just finishing the procedure.